Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the feature bins and list within Power BI. Now this feature is not most spoken about, so people are not very much aware of it, but this is an easier way to create buckets or groups within Power BI without having to write long if statement or using DAX statements uh, to create groups. So I'm just going to explain that in a bit. So let's get started with this tutorial. So I now I have a sample data set from IMDB, which I've downloaded from Kaggle website. And in this particular, this particular data set has a column called as movies rating. And I want to group all of these ratings into a bucket. Let's say eight, nine, 10 rating into a best performing movie bucket. And then five, six, seven into an average performing movie. And anything below five has been categorized as, let's categorize that as the worst performing movie, right? So how do we do that? So if I have to do this using tags, I have to write an if statement, which makes it more complicated, but there is an easier way to do this in Power BI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the column over here, right click and click on new group. So once you click on new group, you will get this particular dialog box over here. There is group type, bin and list, right? So I'm gonna explain the bin in a bit, but let's look at list for now. Now, when you work with values over here, you will get these two options. However, if you are working with the object data type or descriptions or with text fields, you will only see the value, the drop down as a list. You will not see the bin. Okay, we'll come to that in a bit. But right now, I'm going to select list over here and then let's start grouping them. So I have eight, nine, ten over here. I'm going to shift select them and click on group. So I have a new group which is created and I'm gonna call this as best performing movies. Okay, and then I have five, six, seven, which I'm gonna call this as average performing movies. And one to four, I'm gonna call this as uh, worst performing movies. Okay, and then we have a last one over here, which is zero, which is nothing but it's not rated. So I'm gonna group that as not rated. Okay, and now I'm gonna click on okay. Now we will see that if we have a new column which is created movies rating group and now if, when I click on this drop down we have average performing movies, best performing movies, not rated and worst performing movies. So if I click on best performing movies, so I'm get, I will get all the ratings that are 8, 9 and 10. This is the easiest way where you can group the values into a certain bucket and use them in the report. Now for example if I want to know uh, how many best performing movies are there, I can simply bring in the uh, uh, group which I created and bring in the uh, count of that particular uh, uh, movie uh, or rating over here. So I'm going to say count. So these are the number of movies that I have in my data set. The worst performing movies are 2700. The average performing movies are 16,985, right? So this is how you can easily create uh, lists in Power BI without having to use tags and if statement, etc. Right? Now let's jump onto the bins feature which I spoke about uh, and now over here I'm going to use a different data set. So I'm going to use the data set which has uh, age over here. So there are some blank values as well in this. Let's ignore them for now. So I'm going to select the age field over here and then right click click on new group. So when I come over here automatically I'm here on the bin. So I mentioned about using this on text right. So when I click on new group so you only have the drop down as list you cannot group them as a bin all right now let's say uh, we select these five over here we group them under uh, this particular let's say top 10 members or something right something like this and then now whatever the, the remaining ones you have you have to group them under other you can simply click on this particular button over here include other group and now all of them will be grouped as either top 10 or other. So you will only see the members that we selected over here in this particular group and the others are over there, over here in the other group, right? So that's how you can use the other feature. Now let's come back to the bins feature over here. So you can right click on the edge, click on new group. It has, the bin has been selected automatically. So it's saying the minimum value is 0 0.17 and the maximum value is 76 years, which means that, so this is a titanium data set, which I've again downloaded from Kaggle, which basically is saying that there was a baby who was about 17 day old on Titanic ship. And there was a, a elderly person who was aged about 76 year old. Right. So now there are different options which you can select from. There's bin size of bins or number of bins. Right. So you can select the size of the bins, which is bin size over here. 
or you can select the number of bins. So we will go ahead with creating the size of the bins over here and then my bin size let's say I have so these are values and I want to identify how many are between 0 to 10 age, how many are 10 to 20, 20 to 30 etc. So in that case I have to create a bin size of 10 each which means that I will be getting about 8 or 7, seven bins or 8 bins right and then I'm going to click on OK over here so when I click on this now I have blank then I have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that's about 8 bins now that which is created so what you will see here now is when I create this particular uh, bin that we created over here okay let's add a, a, a column chart and then uh, bring in the name into the um, y-axis and this is the count of all the number of people by age uh, created without having to sort of use any DAX or something because you cannot group, right? So if I bring in age, let's say if I didn't create the bin and if I just brought in uh, age over here and then brought in the uh, count of the people, uh, age over here and count over here. So this is how it would look, right? So so that's about so 20 uh, age people there are about 8 people 21 age there are about 17 this is how scattered the uh, bar chart is going to look so if we created a visual like this we would not be able to tell how many members were there between the age group of let's say 20 to 30 so that's how we can easily look into this particular visual and tell between 20 to 29 there were 124 people now in this case over here it is 30 to 39 and in this case over here it is 40 to 49 right so please remember that now we can easily say that between 0 to 9 year old there were 20 people on board the titanic and between 70 to 79 year old there was just one person who was an elderly person in that particular titanic ship right now this is how you can create uh, bins within power bi and use that without having to use much of dax and if statement etc to create groups now is, isn't this really helpful especially when you're uh, when you don't know to work with dax it, it makes the job really really easy so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials